This is a brief lesson in elasticity in the Elasticity of Materials unit. Elasticity in brief concept is the idea that materials respond to forces by becoming deformed in size or shape. And you can see the different types that we're going to look at here. And this is from simplistic to more complex. We can have a linear or a shear or a volumetric change in shape. This idea arises from the spring model of materials. Materials that can be deformed will exert reaction forces, restoring them to our original geometry. And when we look at chemical or electrical bonding between materials, we see that it can be modeled with a spring between them. The chemical bond is modeled as a spring. And when I have a whole material, a solid or a liquid, we can see that each molecule is attached to its neighbors in six different directions, so that's three degrees of freedom. And that if one moves, we can imagine that these springs compress or stretch such that they want to restore that molecule back to its original shape. This depends on the composition or strength of whatever material this is, as well as how much and what type of displacement from the original geometry happens in this model. And that's the brief concept of elasticity. I've prepared a couple of lessons to expand quantitatively on the factors that are affected by this. Here's the structure of the elasticity content. I'm going to talk about stress and strain and the elasticity modulus and look at the volumetric effects of forces. We'll actually get into measuring changes in the geometry. With an anchor in the second law of motion, I will introduce the spring force and also have a supplemental for the spring force for you to understand how to look at force analysis in the regard of this linear displacement with Hooke's law. The last thing we're going to cover, and don't be surprised that the last thing we're going to look at in here is the applications of conservation of energy with those springs. State functions are way easier to look at than force analysis, and so we're going to look at how a spring or elastic potential energy can be quantified. This ties in with the potential energy lecture and a specific lecture on elastic potential energy. And what the idea is there is that deformation causes changes in internal energy. Through thermodynamics and heat and temperature, we saw that internal energy can be measured in a couple of different ways, one being thermal, and in this situation this is a measure of internal potential energy that is incoherent inside the substance.